I know, I know. I went too far. I went too far. <laughs> yeah. But you, you, you know what would happen to that relationship if one of you didn't say those words which are in any language the most difficult. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Or, I mean, you, you, you sometimes you squeeze, squeeze them out of you. <laughs> yeah. That's how I get them out, yeah. Uh, but you, if you don't, there's not much hope for that relationship. If you just build up, build up the resentments, and one day, a very small thing, just look at the toothpaste tube. He's done it again. I mean, he squeezed it in the middle. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> terrible business. No, yeah. I, I hear that is what happens. I mean, I'm not... Doug, you would never no, do that. No, I understand. No, 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 yeah, no, no, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. I, I hear that they, that is what they do. I mean, you, know, you throw your towels all over the place, you know, yeah. and, and think that there will be somebody who's going to pick them up. Yeah, you're giving uh, away a lot tonight, Father Tutu, you know. <laughs> No, no, no. I'm just telling you about what I have heard. All right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, we would have been in real trouble in our country had it not been that we said it is important for people to be able to tell their story. Have you found out how powerful telling one story can be. A little bit, yeah, I know a little bit about that, yeah. Um, well, I mean, we had a young man. He was blinded by police action. He came to tell us his story. When he finished, one of the panel of the TRC said, how do you feel now that you've told your story? Unbelievably. Smile broke over his face and he said, he's still blind, he said, you have given me back my eyes. Huh. That telling the story as you did in, in the TRC, it was telling it to the whole world. Mm -hmm. um, it's reported very, very extensively. It, it was an incredible rehabilitation, a wonderful acknowledgement that what he had done had not just gone up in smoke. It had happened and, the, and people and, knew and about it. Yes, and that, and that he was part of the reason why we now had a free South Africa. Tell me if if you if if you can. We're, we're almost out of time, but I, I'd love to hear you, how your feelings on the American uh state of affairs right now the, with the election of barack obama do you do you is this uh yeah i thought you were right. uh, but now you realize actually just how bound up with one another we are sure that there was a time when you wished i mean that america could disappear from the face of the earth well, not, not me, but uh, I, I, I think no, some people were angry at us. Yes, yeah, I mean, yeah. there, there, was, there was a lot of anger, not against Americans. There was a lot of anger against the policies of a particular yes. administration. Yes. The apparent arrogance. I mean, look at the awful things that you were doing. Not you, I mean, you. Uh, uh, no. In Guantanamo Bay, in... Abu Ghraib. What, what I would say in, in defense, although I, I, I don't feel you attacking, but what I would say in defense of that is that I always felt that a very effective, perhaps the most effective, as it turned out, uh, voice of dissent against these things was from I I inside the United States. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the pressure from within eventually, you know, discarded these policies and, and, and moved away oh, from yes. them. I mean, let's come back to the beautiful thing. Okay. Uh, November, when was it? Last year, 2008. Yes, yeah. November the 4th. What? November the 4th, yeah. Because yeah, this is like my citizenship test. Come on, ease yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, 
we were sitting, we, we were at a game lodge and my wife was sitting in front of the television and we were watching the celebrations in Chicago. Chicago, yeah. yeah. And she was sitting there and tears were streaming down her face. And she said, I don't know why I'm crying. I'm so happy. Um, you know, and, and all of us were uplifted. Yeah. And it wasn't just here. And I, I, came, I came in January the 20th. Fantastic. I mean, I, I had a ticket and thought we would be able to wend our way through the crowds. Yeah. Amazing. I mean, it, you saw people of all sizes, shapes, and especially for someone coming from a former racist country. It was so heartwarming to see the number of white people. Well, actually, you would not have been elected. Have didn't. Yeah, not but there been, is that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, and and people were walking with a new pride. Yeah. You know, and and and, and it was a palpable. You could you could feel the goodwill, the joy, the the pride. Some, I mean, uh, one, some of our friends said, you know, I caught myself waving the American flag, which I used to burn. You oh, know, right. this was an American that, uh, and and now a new hope. I mean, the the world was feeling, hey, America is experiencing a kind of Mandela moment. Oh, right. Okay. You know? well Here's, uh, Bishop, we're, we're completely out of time. I, I'd love to talk to you more. Oh, yeah, no, no, please. Archbishop Desmond Tutu, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how very appropriate <laughs> to have such a spiritual kitten. Well, what, what did we learn in the show tonight? Well, normally I have to make stuff up, but I actually learned a whole hell of a lot in the show tonight. <laughs> Usually it's like, oh, uh, well, you know, stuff about celebrities and ooh, I farted and everything. But <laughs> I think actually tonight I learned that a, uh, that a vulgar lounge entertainer can share space with a Nobel Peace Prize winner and uh, look like an idiot. <laughs> but, in my defense, I challenge you to do better. I am... Um, that is the single most impressive human being I have ever met. And, and I, I, I... Not, you know, not the chair. Uh, uh, Desmond Tutu. And, and I, I think what astonished me was... Um, if you know what, even a tiny amount of the story of South Africa... That, that people would even attempt truth and reconciliation is, is mind-blowing. I think uh, I learned more than I thought I would ever learn being a late-night television host. Who knew? Good night, everybody.